success. I'm Scott McGilvery. Now we're cooking. Real estate investor and renovator. For years, I've helped homeowners create dream vacation properties with my vacation house rules. And now, it's my turn. This is gonna be a huge project. This is the place. We are ready to tackle the biggest and final piece of this puzzle, the boathouse. How fun is it that there's a bridge to the rooftop of the boathouse? Holy! Woo! What a spot! It's almost 40 feet by 40 feet up here, which is 1,600 square feet of rooftop. Wow, that's a lot of space. That's huge. That's massive. You could okay. have a party with 50 people up here. I'll be honest, I've never renovated a boathouse before. So it's gonna be like boathouse boot camp for me. <laughs> Buying a property with an existing boathouse is a big deal because you can't get a permit for a boathouse like this anymore. Being able to market that it's got the boathouse rooftop patio is an opportunity to raise the rents. Because it's like a luxury resort now. It's a huge upgrade. It's very green. I mean, all year round, you've got really green, green turf anyway. Mm. What do you think? It needs to go. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. OK, yeah, that's getting kind of nasty. That makes me a little nervous, to be honest. It needs to be sealed like a roof, but we also want to have like a pedestrian surface that you can walk on, but you can't penetrate so that it keeps the membrane intact. For sure. That's why all okay. these railings are surface mounted on the outside. Got it. Oh, but they're in rough shape. Yeah. So I wouldn't want someone to lean against this. I also don't love the fact that you got this six inch frame on here, just mm -hmm. like blocking your blocking view. Blocking the view. In the long run, we know this is something that we would use as a family for mm -hmm. sure. It could be a destination area for all of the properties. Mm -hmm. It'd be like going to a resort and helps us compete in the luxury rental market. Absolutely. All right, Sounds let's head good. down to the side. Hey. Okay. Gotta run on the bridge. You gotta run on the bridge. All right, let's go inside the boathouse. Here it is. We got a boathouse. Wow. Knowing I can see it's getting a bit moldy. Looks like it might even be leaking right here. Great. Well, just another sign that the top needs to be addressed. Right. On the rooftop patio is artificial turf. Stuff is saturated and moldy. It's getting pretty rough over here. It's getting really rough, actually. Mm -hmm. Immediately, it is clear that the membrane is failing. The seams are pulling up. The rod is getting in. We know the membrane is starting to leak into the boathouse below. They've already tried to patch it in a couple places, which is now failing again. And it's time to stop patching things up. We need to fix this right and do it from scratch. The first thing we need to figure out is replacing the green turf. So here's a couple samples. That's a little brown. It's too brown. That's too dark. So this is definitely where we want to go. I find this is a little bit too light. Okay. And the thing is, we really do want to ground this space yeah. and then build off that. We can go with lighter furniture, lighter cushions. Like, we can really accent it. Whereas if we do this, we're kind of stuck with darker furniture throughout. The rooftop of the boathouse has now become the largest project. We have ripped off the turf. We have ripped off the old membrane. We are ripping off all of the layers of plywood, and we are starting brand new with three-quarter inch tongue and groove plywood as our base. Free sheeting, free sheeting. We need a patch of good weather so we can get it cleaned up, get it ready, and get the new membrane on before it rains, because if we have the membrane off and it rains, the whole inside of the boathouse down below, disaster. Everything has to happen in a perfect sequence right now. One hiccup, and everything's on hold. Yeah. Fingers crossed that things keep moving along. Big day at the boathouse today. On the rooftop patio, we've had all the high spots and all the seams sanded down. Everything has been patched and then sanded again. And now we're getting ready to put down our waterproof membrane. We're gonna go here and then boom, 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 all the yeah. way across the other side. Love it. Now it's all about putting down the adhesive, both onto the membrane and onto the floor, and gluing it down very carefully, one sheet at a time contact cement. It's only strong when the two touch each other. Here we go. You don't get a second chance with this stuff. Moment of truth. Shuffle him over. 
All right. And this is one of the most necessary steps of all, is getting this membrane down, because it's going to do two things. It's going to waterproof the rooftop, which is going to protect everything in the boathouse, and then we can continue on down there. But it's also meant for the pedestrian traffic as well on top. So we can't do anything up top until this is down. Everything depends on this moment. I think. You don't trust me at the end, do you, Mike? No, you're good. I'm sure you're good. Perfecto. The most critical part of this whole rooftop is getting done. And you know what? It looks awesome. Good. Oh, it looks amazing. Looks awesome. The change from the green turf to the gray membrane, game changer for the rooftop. It's looking amazing. This is the gem of the property, the boathouse. Oh, well, this is the upper deck. This is, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's quite the rooftop patio, that's for sure. Wow, it looks amazing. Do you remember what this was like? It had green turf. Yeah, but look at it now. It's stunning. It looks so good. I can't believe how much it has transformed from what it was to this. It's night and day. I love the new membrane on the rooftop floor here. The water just runs off the sides. It acts as a seal for the roof, mm -hmm. which is what we needed, because you got the boathouse underneath. That's right. But up here, it's rated for pedestrian traffic. It's so much brighter. And I think that's why it's actually making the space look larger than it was before, right? Well, it's a lot better than the AstroTurf, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. This is your spot right there. This is my spot. Yeah. And you have a great view, right? You can see everything. Like, Absolutely. this is the best part. We should celebrate a little bit. This was us doing something for us and for our kids and for the future. And a moment like this just makes it all worth it.